Thanks. Um, we actually we didn't know what the conditions were, so all, the, all during the week they said it was uh, we've had a great week here, nice weather. They said it could rain. Uh, yesterday was said it was going to be clear, and then it came with uh, a little bit of rain, but it wasn't it wasn't too bad out there. There was a little bit of rain uh, in the first half, came down a bit heavier, and I think both teams came a little bit got a little bit sloppy in the middle of that period, but uh, after that we adjusted well, and the weather wasn't too bad. Do you think that was a turning point in Mark? No, I think. Um, <clears throat> It was a good match. England started really well, put us under a lot of pressure. Played with a really high tempo, um, kept on, on top of us. Uh, we stuck in there, had to gain control back a little bit in the, the second half. Got a yellow card and then in the second half we, we played reasonably well. So by no means it was a, it was a, complete, um, a complete match. Uh, still plenty of things to work on. A tough, tough match against a really good England team. Firstly, we don't get to play Twickenham too often, so uh, to, to firstly have a match at Twickenham uh, against England is uh, a great honour for us. Uh, it's a real privilege to be able to get that match. Uh, we agreed on that in 2020, I think it was, and been excited. Um, obviously, then to get the victory, huge. Um, uh, we've been building since July the 1st and really wanting a reconnection between us uh, to our people, who we are, who we're playing for. And I think that hard work uh, results from a, uh, a consequence of what, what you've done, what you've done in terms of preparations and stuff like that. So the, all credit goes to the boys uh, in terms of what they put out in the field and uh, yeah, very proud of them. Would that be part of your surprise that how comfortable you seemed at the end of your eight points up? Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say comfortable. It was. Uh, it was a tough match. There was a couple of things that swung our way. We managed to keep it out to that eight points, and then we, uh, then, we did, then we defended well. We're still making a couple of mistakes we need to work on, but that's that, that's where we are. I think we're, we've made a huge progressions in the two months that we've been together. Um, it's been it's been a really good journey. Uh, yeah, I'm just really proud now. It's a very good England team playing away from home at Twickenham. Yeah, it's, a, it's a proud day for us. Simon, I was wondering if you could give us a sense of just the positive changes that have been happening in Fiji and Hungary generally over the last year, a couple of years. What's, what's been going right? Yeah, I think we're always uh, working to get better. I think it's a, as a developing nation, you're always trying to catch up get onto the same uh, same stat stature as the, the developed nations. Um, we've, we've obviously had success with the sevens. Um, we've had success with the fifteens, but with the fifteens, it's more about building consistency. And so I think uh, our boys playing overseas, getting that experience, playing at the highest level, and the drill has been huge for us. The, the two years they've been, been involved, we've been able to expose between 40 and 50 players to playing at the highest level, super rugby. Uh, and that showed in the, the amount of players that were selected in this World Cup squad. We've got a good balance, a uh, real good connection between the players. Uh, and that's been a huge uh, benefit for us. And I think you'll only see benefits grow in the next, uh, within the next cycle. So it's, a, uh, it's always a work on, uh, getting, trying to get the same facility, same resources, same uh, thing. But it starts with games like this today playing against the best nations and at, at their home, uh, having those invitations. Uh, We've had a preparation where we've had, obviously, uh, Tonga, Samoa and Japan and then being able to play uh, the home nations, France and then England is huge for us. It's uh, something that we traditionally don't have. So it's uh, when you get to play the best in the world, you get to measure where you're at, where you're at. Do you think a result like today makes the calls to join a competition like the Rugby Championship even louder? Yeah, it's a bit of my pay grade. No, I, hope, I would hope so. but. Uh, if we keep on doing the right things, putting ourselves in the right uh, place, results, uh, keep on growing our infrastructure back in Fiji, if a new com competition comes into place, then we put ourselves into that space where we can hopefully get a position. Is the open resources between yourself and England make this victory feeling a sweet turn? Here's your party, get out. 
Yeah. No, oh, you know, we've, we've prepared the same. We've had the. We've had the same. We've had a great preparation. Uh, we've been well supported. Obviously, Fiji Water has been really good for us. Um, World Rugby has been a great supporter. Uh, the FIU has been there. So, in terms of what we've had into this preparation, uh, I couldn't. Yeah, it's you always want more. You always want. Uh, you look at the, those developed nations, and I've been involved with them with the Wallabies, and you see what they have and whatever. But we make the best of what we have. And I, um, I think we've had a good preparation. We've gone back to our roots, gone back to what's important to us. And I think we've, uh, uh, in terms of how we are as a group and uh, some of the results, I think it's showing. Well, yeah, what did that feel like on the pitch? Did it feel like something special was happening? Yeah, for me, this, uh, this group of boys, uh, compared to the other, other group of men I've been with, is, is different. The bond we have is uh, quite special. Like someone said, because uh, we went back and tried to reconnect with our roots and who we are, who we represent. And uh, that's probably the foundation of uh, our campaign from there and our bonding as well. But did it feel like you were a way to achieve, achieve something spectacular on the field? But I'm just keen to find out what it was like being in the middle of it. Yeah, quite, quite amazing eh? to experience that at the same time. Uh, like the coach said, a credit to the boys eh, for the for the effort. Uh, that's what we're trying for this week uh, with a winning mindset coming into this game. If we want to make history, we have to work hard for each other. And that's what we did today and uh, we executed really well. So, uh, could you sense the, the big patch of Fiji supporters on the ground? Absolutely. Uh, shout out to all the supporters, Fiji supporters. Thank you for getting behind the team. You had that missing out try in the first half, but how much confidence did that give you the English defence sort of had gaps? Like I always say to the boys, eh? uh, there's going to be mistakes. There's only going to be. We have to go next job, next job, next focus. We refocus every time because game goes on. That's how we take it. On the TV, seeing Georgia winning, seeing um, Steve winning, seeing Fiji winning into a comes. It feel like the kind of old orders. Yeah, I think the improvement with the developing nations is is real. I think yeah, George has made huge strides over the last uh, last cycle. In terms of infrastructure of their team, uh, Italy, great young team, uh, playing some really good rugby. So I think there's um, the the gap is closing. So that's good for for rugby in general in the world, and I think it's good for all the nations. So I think it's been really good to watch the progressions uh, of those teams that uh, traditionally um, struggle. And I think it comes down to preparation. Um, a lot of times we struggle because we come in in a week before. I said, so we've had an even um, playing field this time. We've been there together. We've been together, well, what is it now, seven, eight weeks. Mm. And you, you see the benefits uh, when you get to, when you get to um, like prepare and at the same sort of level. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's proud of all the nations in terms of uh, what we're going on. I think, the, the get, I think it's going to be the closest World Cup in terms of what uh, the, the games um, in history. Yeah, I just want to thank the World Rugby for giving us this opportunity. Yeah? Uh, credit to them because uh, Fiji Rugby needs more of this to get experience and uh, to show the world how we're capable of um, playing rugby. So, what do you think Wales will make up? What should happen today? Well, their coaching staff was here watching, they were, so they're obviously preparing for that match. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be preparing for the match as well. So. Uh, yeah, I think they'll uh, they'll look at they'll find some things that they can they can target us with. Uh, they'll uh, they'll look at some of the things we did today and probably um, target some of those areas. But uh, yeah, it's gonna I think it's gonna be a great match. We're looking forward to it. We've been preparing from the beginning for this date, tenth of September. That's been our that's been our goal right from the start. Last two questions. Um, someone, you touched on it earlier about the Jura playing in the Super Rugby. <coughs> I noticed. I thought you guys were much more physical fronting up. Than I've ever seen. Do you think the physicality part of it's the natural progression of you playing in Super Rugby, or are you guys actually being targeting that part of the game because it maybe might have been something that was yeah, it's, it's somewhat it's something that we've targeted. You think Jamie's like, example as well when yeah. they were in the Super Rugby Argentina seem to be. When you when you have a group of players that get to play together in, uh, in preparation in, uh, in a competition like Super Rugby, it, it, you can only have benefits from that, and I think. That is part of it. I think part of it is that we've, we've concentrated on areas that teams have traditionally targeted us. Um, so 
you know, there's collisions uh, and carries, cleans. There's been a focus for us in our fitness. Uh, I think our fitness is probably the best. It's probably been the best it's uh, ever been. We've worked really hard on our discipline. So. Um, yeah, so we, we, we do, these are things that we've targeted, but we also want to keep our identity who we are, we're Fijians, and how we play the game. Uh, we enjoy it. A lot of people think that Fijian style rugby is like throwing it around and offloading and nothing, but no, Fijian rugby is also about collisions and winning the game line and uh, defence. So I think we, we target those areas and I think we. You know, we, 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 we still need a lot of work. It's not something that you can bring in uh, and get perfection within the three or four months, but it's a continuing continuation of what we're trying to, to build. Well, most of the spaces that we're playing, Bayern is really surprised that tackle was such a good Yeah, uh, so he... Um, okay. During the during the game, we, we thought it was clear head contact. It's... The referee, the, yeah, the, the referee's job is the hardest job in the world. They're scrutinised, there's stomos, everything like that. Um, yeah, it was it was a surprise. I did think there was head contact there. Uh, I was surprised that uh, he was okay. He was he was good. He was he, he came back onto the onto the field. But at the time, it, I thought it was a clear um, clear try. I shot didn't direct to the head. So it was. Um, it's it's a difficult one because you well, obviously they don't have the they don't they don't have the angles that, uh, that they're there. But they, the ref said they don't have any angles. Yeah, so that's the, I was like okay. That's uh, that's the problem. <laughs> all you all you want as a as a coach is uh, consistency, uh, consistency in the process. And I think the referees in large do a great job. Um, they they like I said, it's the toughest job in the world. Everyone's looking at them. They, everyone's looking for what they're doing as mistakes, and we appreciate uh, everything that they do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.